Mimic PC is a cloud-based online platform that brings powerful AI tools to your fingertips without needing high-performance hardware. It features popular image, video, audio, and LLM platforms such as ComfyUI, OmniGen, AudioCraft, Olama WebUI, and even Koya and FluxGym for training and more. We can go ahead and install ComfyUI with a click of a button. So I'm going to hit Get Started. And then here I can pick the type of GPU that I want. So under hardware, if I click on the drop down here, I'll get several options. We have medium, large, large pro, large pro plus ultra and mini. And they range from a 16 gigabyte VRAM card up to 48 gigabytes of VRAM. You'll see that there are two prices, instant and bargain. Instant guarantees you the GPU time, whereas bargain at half the cost will give you the same GPU. However, if availability becomes scarce, there could be a risk of you getting booted off. But typically, if it says available here, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. It's only when it says limited that you should be a little concerned that you won't have that GPU for a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to leave it on medium to show you how the installation works. We're going to select that one. You can set an allotted time here. So if I wanted one hour, I can put that in there. You can even toggle on automatic extension, which will extend it for 30 minutes. I'll leave that off for now. There's a switch to stop automatically and a reminder switch as well. And you can also select pre-installed extensions and custom nodes if you wanted pretty much the standard stuff that comes with the platform. Form, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click create and start. The installation is going to happen. It'll take between 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on the availability of the GPU. Now, while that loads, I do want to show you the right side panel here. And this is where all your files will be stored. You have your custom nodes, should you want to install any custom nodes. You have your models folder here. There you go. It's finished loading now. And any output images that you generate will be in this output folder. You can also upload images, models, whatever it is you want by clicking on this icon. And there are some instructions right beside it. Here's a refresh button and three dots that enables you to create a new folder, download any of the files, you can move your folders or files, and delete. And then at the top, you can search for your files here. There's a tutorials tab on the top on various topics, and you can save your favorites and your logs. We can close this panel on the right top corner here. So here's just a basic workflow. If I go into my load checkpoint node here, you see that there are quite a few default models that are already installed, including Flux, even SD 3.5 is here, Pony, and some popular SDXL models. So if I were to generate an image here, we're going to go ahead and generate an image just to make sure everything is working. See that the green outline is saying that it's processing, and there you go. So very handy if you just want to use something like Comfy UI, build your own workflows, use your own files, that type of thing. Very easy to do. Now, if you're not that experienced with Comfy UI and you don't know how to do these workflows, you do have other options. So let's go ahead and stop this one. We're going to click on ES. When I head back to the main page, you see that that project is still saved here, okay? Now pay attention to this here. I've only generated one image, but this is where you're going to see your file size. So, so depending on your project, let's say you've used up 10 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes, it's going to be deducted from this storage space, okay? Now the other thing we can do is go into Discover Workflows. Now I believe most of these are Comfy UI workflows. You can filter it at the top here to be more specific on, let's say you want Flux workflows here. You can scan these workflows and take a look at the various ones. So for example, it's almost Christmas time. Let's click on Operate here and load this specific workflow. Now we can do the same thing. You'll see a little summary here of what's uh, going to be installed. If you click on the drop downs here, you see that we have this called Flux 3D Operation E-Commerce Poster Safe Tensor. Looks like Alora. And then extensions, it's just the manager and custom scripts. 
And then we can again select the appropriate GPU that we want. So this time I'm going to go with Large Pro. Since Flux is pretty big in file size, we want a bigger GPU. We click Create and Start. And once again, it's going to install all the dependencies and the workflow, everything you need for this particular workflow. All right, now that it's loaded, we're going to close this off here. And we can zoom in and look at the workflow here. So we have our main Flux dev model here, the LoRa Flux 3D operation, e-commerce. We have our dual clip loaders. I take it this is the default prompt that we saw at the beginning. So everything is ready to go for you. You just have to change the prompt accordingly. We'll change Merry Christmas to Merry Ho Ho Ho. There are also some convenient prompt tips for this particular workflow, which is very handy. So whoever developed this workflow was thinking of you. <laughs> Size is pretty big, 1280 by 1280. Let's do something more like a portrait style and we'll go ahead and generate. Right now it's loading the model. For Flux, it may take a few minutes for it to load all the models and everything. So your first generation may take a couple minutes, but the next one should be a lot quicker. So here we are at the sampler. You see that it's starting to generate the image. And I think it's giving me too many hoes. Mary ho, 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 ho. So obviously I would generate a couple more until the text came out right. So here's our image. And like I said earlier, if you click on the hamburger icon here to bring up your file folder, we can select output. And there's an eye icon here to view the picture. There you go. But now that the image is loaded, I want to see how quickly it'll generate. So I'm going to go ahead and generate another one. This GPU is supposed to equal about a 4090. It's got 24 gigabytes of RAM, so it should be pretty quick. There you go. Merry ho ho. It's missing one ho. <laughs> We're doing this at 20 steps, and let's see how quick it's going. So you see here, 33 seconds once everything was loaded. So yeah, not bad. On my 8 gigabyte GPU, I can generate using like an FP8 model around a minute, give or take. Let's do one more and we're going to try COG video. Let's click on generate videos. Let's try the COG video image to video workflow here. It says 45 gigabytes. So you're going to need a pretty hefty GPU. So we're going to go ahead and click that. We're going to click on operate. Let's select the 48 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, we'll go ahead, create and start. Okay, so we have our workflow here. I'm going to pop in a prompt here. And this one's of a steampunk concept car. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out for this particular prompt. So here's the image here. And uh, yeah, let's just see if it works. So we see our COG video model already being loaded. And I'm going to leave all the default settings, 25 steps, 51 frames. What's the size here? Ah, 512 by 512. Okay, let's see how it goes. Frame rate 16. Yeah, let's leave everything at default. This is a pretty big model, it might take a few minutes to run. So let's go ahead and generate this. Ugh. I'm an idiot. I totally ignored the aspect ratios and this came out because I put in a different aspect ratio image. So I've gone ahead and loaded a one by one image this time. I should have adjusted the width and height here, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to generate this one instead. Now I will say that first video took, I'd say about 10 minutes just to load all the models and everything else. But now generating this new video since everything is loaded is processing a lot quicker now so yeah this one's almost done already at 84 percent it's only been a couple minutes i would say at the most and we're almost done decent results it's not perfect but as you can see here we have our steampunk like car speeding down the road definitely worth using the bigger gpu if it's in your budget so finally, let's talk about pricing. I'm going to disappear here in a second. 
There we go. So you have three plans, pay as you go, monthly or yearly. Now with the pay as you go, you see all the features here available that come with it. Both the monthly and yearly plan come with these features, including these monthly gifts on top of what you already pay and 50 gigabytes of storage. If you pay by the year, you get more storage at 100 gigabytes. Currently, the prices are discounted, so for the basic plan monthly, $9.90. The premium plan is $18.90 per month, or yearly, $99.90 for the basic plan, or the premium, $189.90. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what's the best plan, only you can determine that based on your budget. What I would suggest is that you try the pay-as-you-go, choose a workflow that you think you're going to be using a lot, and go under the hardware tab here and look at the pricing. Now, one of the things that I want to try is using Flex Gym to train some Loras, so if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments below and maybe Mimic PC will give me more credits to do that. But if you have any questions, whether it's support or you just want to be part of their community there will be a link in the description below to their discord community and it would help me a lot if you gave your feedback on this type of service do you find it useful do you see yourself using it yourself personally and of course hit that like button if you've got some value out of this video until the next one my friends i'll see you when i see you